Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominator here and I'm back with another Pokemon tutorial video. In this video, I am going to be showing you my favorite EXP grind spot in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. I have made videos of my favorite EXP grind spots in both Fire Red, Leaf Green, and in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. So you can check out those videos. I'll have them linked in my description and maybe on a card or something here. Um, I have a full playlist of all my Pokemon tutorial videos. I'll put that on the end screen so you can check that out. But, uh... Yeah, I made EXP grind spot videos for both Fire Red, Leaf Green, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. So I figured might as well try to get more games in to really help you guys out. And we're in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald now. So I'm in my Sapphire version cur currently because I have the best Pokemon for it. But you can do this in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And before you comment saying, well, the Elite Four is better, you can just do uh, battle the Elite Four over and over again. This is more of if you want to get a lot of EXP and money without having to completely go through the entire Elite Four and Champion and battle all those straight up. So those are really good for EXP, but if you only need like a few levels or so, you're trying to level up a weak Pokemon or something like that, and you don't want to deal with going through the entire Elite Four, this is the video for you. And now I always prefer these methods over the Elite Four unless I just need a massive amount of levels and I don't care about what Pokemon I'm using. So this is, uh, in my opinion, this one's a little more straightforward, uh, probably a little more well-known than the other ones I have posted, but still really good grind spots and really good way to just farm EXP and money if you use an amulet coin. So let's get right into this. Before we begin though, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. I do really appreciate that. It lets me know that this video helped you and yeah. Let's get into this. So, we are currently in Mauville City. Let's go to my fly Pokemon so you can see. We're at Mauville City right here, as you can see. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have a Pokemon with strength, uh, not strength, Rock Smash, I should say. You do This one has strength and Rock Smash. You only need Rock Smash. You also want a Pokemon with fly. I have Rayquaza. And then you're going to want a Pokemon with surf. Now these could be the Pokemon you want to level up, it really doesn't matter, but I would recommend having at least one good Pokemon with fighting moves, because that will help you a lot. So normally I use this Hariyama for fighting moves as well, along with this uh, Breloom. I really like the Breloom because it has uh, Mach Punch, so you can outspeed everything. So yeah, we're going to do that, but uh, what you're going to want to do is come up from the Pokemon Center to Route 111. You can bike if you want, I'm just not, because why, why not? You're going to come up here, Rock Smash, which is why you need Rock Smash. And up here, there are these interview people. Now, I have, you may have seen this in my other videos, like some of my shiny hunting videos, where I try to level up a Pokemon for the living decks if I need it to evolve. You might see me doing this. Um, that's because I think this is such a good way. What you do, and you can do this, I think, at any point in the game, as long as you have unlocked these areas. It's just once you're post-game, their Pokemon will have higher levels and give you a lot more EXP, as per usual, like rebattling trainers. Now, what's cool about this is that in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, there's no Versus Seeker, so you can't just rebattle good trainers over and over again. But these guys, these interview people, you can always rebattle them. So... You just talk to them, they're gonna wanna battle me. Really simple, I've done this so many times and like, there's no limit, you can just keep doing this. So they're gonna send out a Magneton and Exploud. Um, I do have all eight badges, I have beaten the champion and I, I mean, I think I've caught the, le I might not have caught the legendary, so I don't know if you have to do that, but at least get to where you have beaten the champion, and I'm pretty sure that's all you need to get these to max level. They're level 39 each, that's why we have fighting types. We're going to want to try to level up the Hariyama, because obviously my Breloom is already level 68, so we don't need that. And uh, I would recommend Mach Punching, or just outspeeding the Magneton first, because the Magneton can paralyze you, and that just makes it more annoying. So I always try to go for that first. Also, if you want the max amount of EXP, you want to have a, yourself a Lucky Egg and have the Pokemon that you're trying to level up be from a different save file so that it gets an extra EXP bonus. Now, the only way to get Lucky Eggs in Generation 3 is either from catching Chansey in the Safari Zone in Fire Red and Leaf Green, which they have a 5% chance to hold Lucky Eggs, 
or you can get one from Pokemon XD Gala Darkness in the post game. There's the side quest you can do, then after you finish, you can get gifted a lucky egg. Both of them pretty complex, and if you don't have access to this, those games, it's really not a big deal. It just helps boost the EXP gains quite a bit. So uh, I would recommend that. There are strategies to catch chances a lot easier. You can look those up. I, I don't have tutorials for them, but uh, there are ways to get lucky eggs a little more efficiently in Fire and Leaf Green. That is my pro tips. We are going to, I guess, just brick break the Exploud. So we're going to mock Punch the Magneton. That's going to kill it. And let's see how much uh, Hariyama gains. So, 1-Up gains only 672, that's base, that's no lucky egg, no bonus. And Hariyama gains 1500 EXP, so not too bad, but that was only one of the Pokemon. So now we just Brick Break this thing. I'm not sure if this will kill it, because it's low level, it's not, but that's fine. So we're going to Mach Punch this thing. And it's going to give 1-Up 768 and Hariyama 1700, so... That was over 3,000 EXP. Obviously, I went a little slow because I, you know, was kind of talking about how I was doing this. They're going to want to interview you. You just spam B because you don't want to interview them. This makes it take longer. And then after you battle them, you can't re-battle them. I think they'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just keep an eye out of you. You can't re-battle them, but what you can do is after you battle them there, you're going to want to come down back to Mauville. And this is where Sir I'm stuck. Pardon my horrible controls. I'm looking through the viewfinder of, well, not the viewfinder, but the screen, the digital screen of my camera to actually see what I'm looking at. And it's a little delayed. But this is where Surf comes in. You want to come over here and Surf. And look, they're right here now. So you can rebattle them. And it's the same deal, just use fighting moves and they die really fast. They're Pokemon, do not them. But uh, obviously this isn't like the most efficient way to get XP in all of Pokemon. Like obviously there's way more ways, but in early games, especially in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, where you can't just rebattle trainers, this does help quite a bit because of how quickly you can just keep going through these guys and getting more battles in. And yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward. Hariyama's gonna flinch, but we're just gonna sky uppercut this to one shot it. But yeah, that was always the thing that I didn't like about Ruby Sapphire Emeralds. You couldn't just easily rebattle trainers, but in this way you can rebattle trainers. Hariyama's gonna level up already. That didn't take too long at all. Mind you, my Breloom is not getting any bonus EXP, and it's also level 68. So you can also pick up grind for rare candies if your Pokemon get way too high of level. There's so many tutorials on that on YouTube. We're going to not want to battle them again. And we can't battle them again, but what we can do is now we're going to want to fly over to Fortree City. So yeah, this method I think is really good for mid-level to upper-level Pokemon. If you're really trying to just grind out upper-level Pokemon, then I would recommend doing the the Elite Four. But for Pokemon like my Hariyama that's level 40, and it's like it's too weak to do the Elite Four, and it's strong enough to take on these guys. Also, by the way, they're right here, if you are wondering, watching the video, they are right here now. But uh, yeah, good for grinding mid to upper level Pokemon and lower level Pokemon if you switch battle because, you know, that can help too. And also if you have a Smeargle and you want to teach it a special move, these are obviously easy double battles that you can just sketch any move your uh, second Pokemon has. And that really helps too. So we're going to just go straight into this again. Now I'm not sure if Hariyama one shots this now, probably not. I might need a few more levels before it one shots it. Yeah, definitely not. But that's okay, we can just... Mock punch it. Also, keep in mind the Hariyama is technically only getting half EXP because it's a double battle. In fact, I'm unsure if giving. I might try something. Hold on. But uh, we beat them. They're gonna try to interview us one more time. We're gonna say no. And that is the last time we can battle them. But wait, all you gotta do is go back to Mauville.
Rock smash up here like we did the first time. And they're back here again. And it repeats. You can just keep battling them over and over again. Now I'm actually going to see if they allow you to battle um, with only one Pokemon. So we're going to check that out and see what our EXP gains are, if it's possible. Because in Fire Red and Leaf Green, there's certain trainers that double battle you. And if you don't have two Pokemon in your party, they just will not battle you. So we're going to see if that's different for this. You know, do a little research as we go. Ariama levels up again. Mind you, I've only been recording for 10 minutes. And that is with all the explanation. Also, by the way, I'm getting like 7,500 Poke Dollars every time I battle them because my uh, Breloom has an amulet coin. So this is a really good way to get a lot of money in these games as well. So keep that in mind. But we're going to come back. We're going to try something real special. We'll see if we can do this. All right. I have skipped the second battle because... You need Surf for that, and I Hariyama can't learn Surf. I th maybe it can learn Surf. I'm not sure. We're gonna see if you can uh, battle this. Ah, uh, we cannot battle them. Unfortunate. You cannot battle them without two Pokemon, so you'll always get the half EXP. But with the Lucky Egg and the Trade Bonus, it really doesn't matter. And it, you can really do these pretty fast in a short period amount of time. And plus, you get so much money with the Lucky Egg. So I'm going to do this one more time just to show you. All right, let's battle them one more time. Because this is just so easy to do. And we get a lot of money for this. This is really good for money. I'm going to Mach Punch the Magneton. Always defeat the Magneton first because it'll probably go for Thunder Wave. And Hariyama's going to level up again. So we leveled up Hariyama three times to level 43, just doing two little rotations of this. And, you know, it took like maybe 12 minutes. To, I don't even know if it took that long because there was a lot of explanation I did in this video. But, uh, you know, it'll go even faster once Hariyama can one-shot them. But, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where... There isn't like the greatest grind spots in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald to begin with. So, uh, this is pretty good for not being able to just rebattle trainers. You can just keep repeating this over and over again. I always like to finish off on these guys so that I know that they're right above Mauville at the beginning. Like, how that, that's how they start. So, uh, that's basically all you have to do is just go to these interview people in the three locations I showed and just keep battling them over and over again. We did find out. You do need two Pokemon in your party, so you can't have only one Pokemon, but, you know, it's not a big deal because they're super easy to defeat, and they give, over time, quite a bit of EXP and a lot of money. This is a really good way to get money, so, uh, let me know if this helped you. Also, let me know if there's any other ways besides the Elite Four that you know of to grind for EXP in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring those notification bells, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination, and I will see you in the next video.